So if you didn't know, there are a lot of reviews about the i5-8400 and the i7-8700K. Coffee Lake CPUs are finally here. And actually, in this video, we are gonna somewhat compare them to the Ryzen CPUs. Now, these benchmarks are not mine because I don't have these CPUs. Now, if you want to see the full benchmarks, I will link them down below. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and press on that like button. And if you're gonna buy any of these CPUs, I will link them down in the description. If you bought them through these links, you would help me. We're not looking at a lot of benchmarks, we are looking at the more important one. The rendering benchmarks, the CPU intensive benchmarks, and of course, the gaming benchmarks. But first, to get into the media encoding benchmark, the i5-8400 is surpassing the R5-1600X. I guess uh, programs like Adobe Premiere much prefer uh, CPUs with higher IPC, and maybe they're not utilizing the whole 6 cores, 12 threads on the R5-1600X, and the 18 threads on the r 7 1700 but anyway that's that and it's not a big difference between them now getting to the more important benchmark to me which is rendering and simulation benchmark in blender bmw 2.7 the i5 8400 was just as good as the i7 7700k while the r5 1600 and 1600x finished the benchmark in a faster time and surprisingly the r7 1700 was not as fast as the i7 8700k stock clock not overclocked so that's really cool to see the i7 8700k is dropping some competition there but it's kind of beaten by the r7 1800x but keep in mind that's not overclocked but when overclocked it was actually faster blender is a really good benchmark to test a cpu performance but get into gaming which is a lot of you are most interested in surprisingly the i5 8400 is the new gaming king it's in the top of the benchmarks in pretty much every game but that's in 1080p when you go to 40 1440p you find it trading blows with the r5 1600 pretty much all the cpus are actually close to each other in 1440p and when you get to 4k they are pretty much identical i guess you can call that a gpu bottleneck but anyway it's a really good result for the i5 8400 and even the i7 8700k was not far behind we're talking 3 to 4 frame rate uh, on average so the i7 8700k is priced at around 380 dollars while the i5 8400 is priced at a whopping 190 dollars which is pretty cheap when you compare it to the r5 1600 which is again around 200 dollars and it's not that far behind in terms of rendering benchmarks and things like that so the good ipc and the high clocks kind of compensate for the i7 8700k when you compare it to the r7 cpus much of the same goes for the i5 8400 cpu but this is kind of the best price per performance gaming cpu right now the i5 8400 is a complete beast for the price for $190 you're getting a 7700k performance or actually even better while getting the same rendering performance of an r5 1600 so it actually ticks all the boxes right now and of course if you're going for a really high-end gaming pc then the i7 8700k is the one for you and if you want an extra performance in cpu intensive task then the i7 8700k is for use for $380 somewhere around there when you compare it to an r7 1700x actually the 1700x is a better price per performance it's around 300 dollars so if you're looking for a better bank for bucks then the r7 1700x is a good cpu for you and you'll find it on amazon i will link it down below so i really wouldn't go for the i7 8700k unless i am going to do a lot of gaming at 1440p or even 4k because it's not actually needed when you have something like an r7 1700x that provides the same performance in cpu intensive tasks but the cpu i'd like to pick for myself is the i5 8400 it's actually the cpu that's in stock right now unfortunately there are no uh, low budget motherboards there is only the z370 board and it's a good board if you're gonna maybe upgrade to an 8700k in the future and you get yourself something like an i3 but that's a hundred and twenty dollars so it pretty much much wasting your money right there or when you compare it to something like an r5 1600 and a world combo you'll find it a lot cheaper somewhere around 50 to 70 dollars so you might want to wait for the cheaper boards if you're getting an i5 8400 but if you're looking for a really high-end gaming pc then the 8700k is the king right there i'm not saying that the amd cpus suck right now but it's not much preferred if you're gonna go to gaming but if you want to save money you want to get a good bank for buck then amd cpus are good for you they are the best bank for buck cpus in both games 
gaming and productivity actually it's not that far behind when you play games at 1440p or 4k so yeah that's that if you found this video helpful make sure to press on that like button subscribe to this channel and let me know what you think down in the comments below i myself think it's a healthy competition right there and you can't go wrong with any of these sides whether you went for an amd ryzen cpu or an intel coffee lake cpu unless we're talking in the budget area but anyway i will leave links down below if you are interested in buying any of these cpus thanks for watching and i'll see you soon peace